Mom had already had her 1966 birthday surprise Corvette, and I, I told her I want to get a Blazer, but there were $5,500 we couldn't afford it. So I looked in the throwaway penny saver, and there was a, 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 a Blazer, 1970 Blazer for sale. It said, first, first one here, $1,800 on Friday morning, can have it. So I got the money together. I might even have borrowed a little bit from Grandpa. Asked him to drive me from Hawthorne to Bellflower. Dropped me off at 5.30 in the morning. I waited till 7.30. And the guy shows up. He goes, are you here for the blazer? I said, yeah, if I'd like to buy it. He goes, well, you're the first one here. So if you want it, you can have it. So he rolls up the door and is sitting sideways in a four-wheel drive Ford place. And above it was the pictures of Steve McQueen in a racing outfit, James Garner, Jim, James Pappard, a bunch of race car guys. Some I knew, some I didn't. And I started it up, and some other guys showed up offering more money. He says, nope, first guy with $1,800, and that's the kid. If he doesn't want it, I'll sell it to you guys. So I bought it, and I drove it home. We've had it ever since, and then about eight years ago, I... We used to go camping and four-wheel driving. Everywhere we went on vacation, we took that truck. But about eight years ago, I decided, I wonder what Steve McQueen had to do with this. This was a Ford place. So I checked it out, and the Ford place was a, a Baja 1971 race driver for Ford. So I checked it out and found out that Chevy sponsored Steve McQueen. I said, no, it can't be. Maybe these guys were friends and that this could be a McQueen car. So then I, I looked on the internet and I found that Steve McQueen's company, Solar Productions, bought five vehicles, two pickup trucks, four-wheel drive, and three Blazers. And so I looked down a little further and it says Harold Daw was his assistant driver during the Baja. So I called that number. He was dying of lung problems, but he agreed to see me. So I went out there. He said, yeah, we had a red one and a blue one which we converted to being off-road to run the pre-race. Then there was another one, but I don't remember the color, and two pickup trucks. Then he said, then he said, uh, but call this guy. He was the mechanic. So I got his number, and, and his name was, uh, uh, right now, his name escapes me, but I drove to Yuma with a picture of the truck. And he said, don't show me the picture. I just want to know whether it has a, a Jimmy grill on it or a, or a blazer grill. I said, it has a forehead like Jimmy grill. He goes, I put that grill in. Steve asked me to do it. And does it have positive traction in the front and the rear? I said, yeah, it does. I thought that was kind of odd. And, and then I knew it was, it was Steve McQueen's, but I didn't know how I could prove it. He goes, wait right here. I still didn't show him the picture. He comes back with a box, and inside the box was the some of the original paperwork from that truck and from 40, 40 something years ago. So he gave that me that paperwork, which doesn't, still doesn't tell me that Steve McQueen owned it. Then I was out cleaning the blazer one day in front of the condo and my now friend Dick Green came by and said, nice blazer. I said, you know, it might be Steve McQueen's. He goes, well, I have a friend that collects motorcycles. So he's going to have a lunch here on Saturday. You want to go with me? I said, yeah. So we got in the blazer, drove it down there, and there was a bunch of guys, the motorcycle advocates. And I talked to the head guy, and there was another guy there named Don Enos. And he, I said, well, how do you get paperwork to prove this? He goes, I got a guy in Sacramento that'll do it for you. He's on part of the Steve McQueen car shows. He said, I said, well, this one's going to be free. So he says, $5,000. $2,500 goes to the Steve McQueen boys' home. $2,500 I give to him if he can find it. So about a week and a half, two weeks later, he comes back and he says, it's Steve McQueen's and I have the original paperwork.